you, bless you, bless you. Welcome to our, welcome to our house. It's an honor, darling. Thank you so much, my children. The mill workers are gathering in the yard. Something's about to happen. Come and join us. Fight for your rights. Come and join us in the yard.
up the time. It's time for tea. Darling, you know Mr. Halle does prepare himself for you to have the first lesson. Pascal, you're looking a bit flush. I think a cup of tea would be in order. Let's call Mary. Thank you so much, Thank Mary. You. I'm sorry we got my best coat. Yeah, I've almost finished it. There's only a wee bit to do now. What do you think about these eggs? I'm Charles Halle, and I teach Mrs. Gaskell's daughters how to play the piano. I'm Harriet Beecher Stone, and myself and Mrs. Gaskell agree on many social issues. We correspond regularly. I am Edward Elgar, friend of the Gaskell household. I'm Miss Beatrice Potter. My husband and Mr. Gaskell are very, very good friends. We're the Bronte sisters. We're both writers, but well, we're very shy. I'm a working man from Oldham. I come to the house every year to say thank you to Mrs. Gaskell.
morning, begging for dripping. How awful! You must have felt perfectly bilious. Indeed. The weather's been lovely, hasn't it, all week? It has. It's has been glorious. Elizabeth, do you take a personal interest in, in the menus? I thought you knew. I have an international reputation for my mayonnaise. Oh. Elizabeth, dear, thank you so much for the invitation this afternoon. It's been absolutely splendid. It's a pleasure having you, my yeah. dear. Hmm. What are those little balls on your plate? They're not balls, they're green peas. Oh. <laughs> I am so jealous of your sewing. You will soon keep up. Well, I do hope so. Dripping. Bilious. Thank you. Bilious. Thank you. Thank you. what it's like just a mile from here. No food for the children, no money for your rent. The dreaded knock on the door that says the bailiff's been sent. Scuttlers, poverty, rife with disease. Praying to God when we're living on our knees and no one here to hear our pleas. Misperceptions, misperceptions and twisted facts. No one talks about the women in the back two backs. Let me tell you about the women in the back two backs, because now we'll read you our riot act. Excuse me, ladies. <coughs> Why on earth? Stir up such controversy. You can't write. You're a woman. You've got your position to think of. You're the minister's wife. You're a good wife and mother. Why would you want anything more than that? How can you know what it's like to be poor? You'll just lose all your friends. You're a good wife and mother. Why would you want anything more than that? Why would you want anything more than that? You're a good wife and mother. Why would you want anything more than that? You're a good wife and mother. Why would you want anything more than that? You're a good wife and mother. Why would you want anything more than that? You're a good wife and mother. Why would you want anything more than that? What if I was to write? A pity on the poor. Share your stories. People need to know about these living and working conditions. If you don't do it, who will? You have a voice, so use it. Elizabeth, this is the place, and the time is now. This, this is, is the place, place and, and the, the time, time is, is now. now. This, this is, is the place, and the time is now. This is the place, and the time is now. This is the place and the time is now. This is the place and the time is now. This is the place and the time is now. This is the place and the time is now. Follow me and come and hear more of the stories, please. Oh. 
about to kill the mill with mill owner. The might the man I love has been accused. It's just not there. What would they do if they knew the truth? What would they do? Robson, and where I live, men are regularly torn from their families and press ganged into the Navy. It's just not fair. What would they do if they knew the truth? What would they do if they found out? I'm not exactly how they see me. So many stories to talk about. Ruth, I am old, but I have to hide who I am, really. Doesn't seem fair. What would they do if they knew the truth? What would they do if they found out? I'm not exactly how they see me. So many stories to talk about. Mary Martin. I'm Esther, Mary's aunt, and I don't want her to end up like me. I was done for vagrancy. It doesn't seem fair. What would they do if they knew the truth? What would they do if they found out? I'm not exactly how they see me. So many stories to talk about. Cranford. I'm Miss Deborah Jenkins. People say that I'm bossy and even cold. But I've got a good heart. It's just so unfair. What would they do if they knew the truth? What would they do? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 